we dropped some balls. We had some balls right in, right in our hand. There's some balls that were low. So we just went clicking on offense like we usually. I was proud to see Tyron getting up there. I thought he ran the ball very well. Concerned, I'm concerned where you're settling for field goals and letting them hang around. Yeah, didn't like it. I'll tell you that. Didn't like it, for sure. And, uh, I won't, you know, if it had been fourth and one or two, maybe we would have went for it. But uh, we went clicking on offense, so we settled for the field goals. That's not like us. Uh, we got to look at what we did wrong in the red zone. and um, But you know what? Hey, it's going to happen. And we, and we won the game, and that's what we came here to do. Defense kind of held them off the board for like 30 straight minutes before, almost 30 straight minutes more than that. Say it again. Defense, your defense held them off the board for all this last yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Talk about while they got it going, your offense kind of clicked at the end at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I think that, you know, like, like I'm saying, the defense uh, – Came to play today. The turnovers really helped us. Uh, made it made it hard for their offense. I thought we did very well on defense, and it gave us a little time for the offense to get get hot. I thought they got hot in the third quarter with the deep balls. Obviously, we took Joe out with about nine minutes left. We could have scored more points, but we want, we didn't want nothing to happen. Coach, I know this team isn't really obsessed with stats, but Joe Burrow uh, breaks the single season passing yeah. touchdown for you guys. Yeah. It was a testament to, to him, the receivers, uh, the offensive line, the coaching. Uh, we still, we just get started though. We, just, we we got a lot of football left, and uh, I know Joe's not worried about records. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, we're seven and zero, and I, I don't think I think our team's a little upset about the way we played. I know our coaching staff is. I'm happy. Uh, I know I won't be as happy when I watch the film. There'll be some things to get done, but it's good for our football team. It'll get us hungry for next week. Apparently, he told the CBS guys, "If we play this way next week, we'll lose to Auburn." Yeah, well, I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm not talking like that. After they cut the lead to Tanana, said he responded immediately with a touchdown. Yeah. The, the, the play call was racing wide open. Yeah, really good. Really good call by Steve. And, and uh, as soon as they uh, scored, I could hear on the headset, we're going to respond. No, we got you, Coach. We're going to respond. They did. I thought it was a great play call by Steve. Uh, again, the deep ball was there open. We should have probably went to it a little bit more. Seems like Grant Talbot's kind of getting back to what he mm -hmm. was last season. I guess what do you think has been that? Tackling. I, I do believe the tackling. I do believe at the beginning of the year his shoulder was kind of bottom a little bit. He was trying to overcompensate for his shoulder. Now he's just going playing free right now and he's playing the type of ball he can play. It's three straight weeks your defense really played well. Yeah. Well, we're getting better. Uh, obviously, having Richard Lawrence and Ben Logan and uh, Michael Devaney healthy and Caleb Chasson healthy and having a rotation, I don't think our guys were tired at all today. I think that makes a difference. It seemed like Trader, their quarterback, was pretty shifty. It looks like you guys had to get pretty creative on yeah. your Yeah, we had to. There was a lot of things. You know, we went uh, to some blitzes. Uh, we went to some four-man rushes, but it was centering the nickel and uh, slanting the line. There was some stuff that we haven't done before. And still, he avoided the rush at the end. Coach Kate York struggled today a little bit. Yeah. You know, hot cold. Hot cold. He's got, he's got to learn. He's got to be more consistent, you know, and uh, – He's our kicker for now, and uh, we, we believe in Cade, and uh, he's a freshman, though, and uh, he's going to make those mistakes, but uh, we need to be more efficient in a kicking game, no question. When you Coach, get the, uh, you know, Kobe Stevens' interception right before the half kind of help spark you guys going into halftime. It seemed like one of his better games as a Tiger. Yes, like huge was... play. That was a huge play for us. There was momentum going for Mississippi State. And that turnover gave us a little confidence going in the half. I knew it was going to come out in the third quarter and light it up. I just felt this team was a little sluggish at the beginning. I don't know why. We need to find out. But I knew that coming out of halftime after what we talked about at halftime, this team was going to respond. It seemed like you guys were using those, those bunch formations even more than usual. Maybe this Say it again. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like you guys were running out of those bunch formations yeah. a little more than even usual. I guess was there something you guys saw there? Well, that just game plan. The game plan by Steve and Joe, what they saw, they thought it was, you know, that was you know, the big touchdown with uh, Racy. But, you know, we had some short passes, some little out routes at the beginning of the game. We dropped. I think the, the ball was a little bit low. Just game plan. Those, those three goal line field goals you guys had, what, what was Mississippi State doing right to kind of force you guys out of touchdowns in the red zone? Well, I think it was the tight coverage. I mean, they made a play on that on, on Jamar, so the guy came over the top and poked the ball. I think you got to give them some credit. They had some nice tight coverage, and uh, that was it. There weren't a lot of open holes there. Did you see a lot of any frustration after the first three field goals by the offense today? Yeah, it was frustration with everybody, but you know we didn't panic. Uh, I think the, the, the difference was it by the time that the defense stood up and, and the defense was playing well, and the offense knew that they were going to get it going. I think it had been more of a struggle 
with the offense stopping scoring points and the defense letting them score. So it was a team game and defense came up to play today. Oh, just the, the stress that you feel like it puts on opposing defenses on a day like today where you have four different receivers yeah. catch touchdown passes. Yeah. Do you, you feel like you have them guessing at certain points? which No question. You it, it, well, you got, you got to decide, am I, am I going to pressure? Am I going to go man coverage? Am I going to drop eight? You know, uh, can I cover these guys one on one? And it got to be frustrating when we look over and we get the right play call against the right defense, and there's nothing they can do about it. So, credit to our coaches. The McMath touchdown. Did you guys dial something up there that he was so wide open? Or? Yeah, yeah, that, that was out of a bunch. That Steve called it, and uh, there was other covers that we thought that the corner route would be wide open. And it was wide open. It was a good call by Steve. One more for coach. Coach, did you, did you see uh, any throws on Derek Stingley tonight? And did, Say it again. Did you see any throws Derek Stingley's mm -hmm. way tonight and, and just what a dominant effort he yeah. uh, he, he's Yeah, he's a great player. Now, he, he got tested a little bit last week, so I'm sure he, he was uh, fired up to have a good game. As far as I can see, he had an excellent game again tonight. Thanks, Coach. Hey, guys. Thanks, Coach.